Hi and welcome back, my name is Emily. In this video, I will share a short video of a really fun interactive card using a new die set from iCrafter. This die set also comes with, or you can buy separately, an add-on piece that you saw here in the beginning. So here is the base that you need. Uh, and this one is called Stand Up Insert Base and it has uh, all the mechanisms that you need for creating this pop-up. So here you can see the pop-up. I already cut out and I cut it out of some heavy white cardstock and then I will just reinforce the lines that the die created for us so that we can have our mechanism ready to go when it's time for assembly. So you can see how I folded everything to the inside of that really easy and I just picked pattern papers that I had in my stash for this step and cut it out with my big shot and then I will adhere the mechanism and our pop-up panel to the inside. And when I'm doing this, I started off by adding the small triangle to my front card um, panel and then I creased it and then I just closed my window here and I pressed it down, made sure, I'm a little bit impatient here, but I made sure that it grabbed onto the other side. And for embellishing uh, of my project today, I went quite easy and just cut out a coordinating flower from the same pattern paper set. And I did a couple of more small flowers. And I also cut out a square with the dashed square die set from iCrafter and a sentiment in gold glitter cardstock to decorate our inside panel here and it will say, say hugs and love so super easy to create a card when you're using pattern papers and just a fun die set like this uh, I just love how this turned out and you know if you follow my channel that I love the easy uh, interactive cards like this and uh, this was really a fun one to create and you will see here in a second how everything looks when it's all folded and I will now adhere this so you can see I'm only putting adhesive to the part that is uh, larger there so not to the triangle because then I, the mechanism wouldn't work and I was a little bit impatient there so here you can fuss around with how close to the inside panel you like it. I messed around with it and I sh shifted it a couple of times. I This was the first time I did it so I liked it there but in the end when I have created cars like this I did one more. I didn't put it as far to the right if that makes sense. And I just wanted to decorate this part because it also shows when you are uh, having your flap lifted. So I just wanted to have that in the matching um, pattern paper. So for the front panel, I used the same piece as I did for the inside, but I cut it out of some cream colored cardstock. And I will raise up my flower here with some dimension, just some foam tape that I have in my stash, and adhere it down. And the little tanks that you see there also comes from one of the newer sets. Uh, it comes from, I believe it was the, um, uh, the add-on piece. Uh, so it's really nice when you have filler images like this, or not, sorry, not filler images, but when you have sentiments like this, this is a really good size and I love the font. And so here you can see the front panel of our card and I will use some more double-sided foam adhesive to the back side just because I love the dimension that this gives and I think it also makes the card look a little bit more finished and so here it is our front panel that says thanks and when the recipient opened it they kind of say hug and love and for embellishing it a little bit more I used some sequins that I had in my stash so I hope you like this short project and that you got inspired to create an interactive card and maybe checking the products that I used uh, in this video out I will leave links down below for you if you like to see uh, some more inspiration and I also have a coordinating blog post if you like to see some still shots of my projects today until next time I hope you have a great day bye